Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and I am on the WW personal points plan and I have followed Weight Watchers as part of my journey to lose 100 pounds and keep it off. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day on the WW personal points plan. I now get 22 points a day and I will share why as we move into the video. But if you like what I eat in a day content, weight loss and lifestyle thingamabobbers, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications. starting this day with just a gallon of water in this wonderful water bottle drinking out of it just so I can link it down below just kidding it's because we forgot to start the dishwasher last night which it's running sorry if you hear it like whatevs but yeah I we're out of like my favorite quart sized jars so I'm drinking out of this behemoth Feel free to buy one for your favorite health nut for Christmas as a practical gift or a joke, whatever. The goal is to actually drink a fair amount of water to earn that point on the WW personal points plan. I did not do so well over the weekend with the water. Yeah. I found, oh, Yeti, that's my husky. I have two huskies. You cannot see her, I don't think, but she's just talking. So over the weekend, didn't do so good with the water. I found like during the work week, I do great. Weekend when we're less of a schedule, not so great. But I started this morning off with a bagel thin sandwich with some egg beaters, Velveeta cheese, and a slice of ham. It came out to five points, which was not so bad. Uh, I had originally wanted to eat a frozen waffle and I don't have any like quote unquote healthy waffles or WW friendly waffles, just what I buy for the kids when they're 10 for 10. And I was like floored. The Meyer waffles are seven points for two, even though they're only 130 calories. So I was like, that's not gonna work for this day. Cause I was just gonna do one and one waffle with sugar-free syrup is five points not enough to fuel me for the day. So that's why I did the bagel thin sandwich. It was delicious. We're gonna move on. I'm gonna drink my water. It's mid morning, not ready for a snack yet, but just wanted to hop on and say hello. And we're gonna get this work day going. I was picking up the counter to stage my shot and I literally just found three toothbrushes. Like why are there so many toothbrushes on my kitchen counter? I just went downstairs to look for a sweatshirt because I am like a fashion icon, right? And the laundry situation in my basement is so bad. So like unfinished basement, if you live in the Midwest, like it's like your grandma's creepy basement. And we actually just bought um, new storage. Like we've been, trying to work on storage to make it more organized yeah so like that side back there is more organized and we're going to organize the part by the washer but i thought i'd keep it real for you so the perk of working from home is like i've taken over laundry for mark that was one of the ways we like divide it and conquered as a family he washed the clothes i sorted and folded it but um i'm starting to like do the laundry and I, because I can keep up with it. I can come down for five minutes, change out laundry, like think about whatever's going on in my head. But I thought I would show this to you. Yes, this is our laundry situation. And I, I don't know if that one bin is full of clothes. And yeah, now we have this whole stack of like bins over here. And the problem is with the new storage, these bins don't fit. So eventually I'll be selling them on like Facebook Marketplace but I'm keeping them to store things when we take our cabinets down. But yeah, I'm about to throw some laundry in. I wanted to show you, this is our absolute favorite laundry detergent. It gets the stink out of my running clothes, but also the boys, and it just smells so good. For so many years, we used fragrance-free, for so many years, we used fragrance-free laundry soap but this is a game changer. All right, I am hungry and I'm gonna make
make some lunch. So I have had some version of this lunch every day for like the past three days. And it's almost embarrassing, but it is so, like to me, so good. And it starts with a can of tuna. And I basically just made like a tuna salad quesadilla with these Mission Carb Balance Wraps. These are two points for me on the WW Personal Points Plan. Now, I think I kind of mentioned it in the intro. I retook the personal points assessment over the weekend because when I first did it, I had corn as zero points, I had avocado as zero points, and I just was not eating those foods on a regular basis. And I was at 18 points a day and routinely kind of eating over that. And that was fine. And I knew with those like zero point foods, there were some fluctu like flexibility, but I weighed in and it just, personal points has not been that kind to me. Let me just say. Now, it's, I'm going to probably talk about it in a later video. Like there are some things that I probably could do better. And so, yeah, I retook the assessment and now my zero point foods are chicken, fish, non-fat Greek yogurt, vegetables, fruits, and that might be it. So no more corn, no more avocado, and I now get 22 points a day, which honestly seems much easier to manage. So I will use two points for this wrap, zero points. I will eat the whole can of tuna because one thing I want to kind of work on and I think maybe as part of the issue is eating more protein. So I use a slice of Velveeta one point and then one point for some light mayonnaise. I kind of do half light mayonnaise, half light branch. And then I'll also add this everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I'm also, so that's one, two, three, four points for the wrap. And then I'm also going to have this light progresso chicken and dumpling soup. I was eating these all the time last year when I was having a lot of success on like the old WW plan. And so when I struggle, I kind of think about like, what was I doing right before? Not what I was doing wrong. What was I doing right? So I don't know if progresso light soup is right, but there you go. And this can for me, the whole can is two points. And then I might, I have just like this itty bitty, like leftovers of this grilled chicken breast. So I'll add that now, like this might end up being like a giant lunch. And then I just like reheat the soup later in the day, but that is what I'm happy. My tuna quesadilla is kind of cooking away. And I will say that I love these Mission Carb Balance Wraps a little more than the Olay because even though they're one point, they taste more like a traditional flour tortilla where the other, the Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps taste like a little too healthy for me. So here is my six point lunch. And this is like a huge lunch when you kind of think about it. For six points, I've got my Diet Coke, and then you can kind of see I'm making good headway on my water. I don't know that I'm feeling awesome, but I am excited to dig in to this lunch. I needed a little break and thank you social media for convincing me to get out of the house. So 
my I hate that I love them so much but like the Herbal Life Shake places posted their winter drink menu and they had a white chocolate peppermint bark and like peppermint is just my jam oh so good it's I always have trouble with how to count those because you can't just like find it in the tracker and I usually count like four to five points for that but so good because it feels like a dessert but then you can feel like you're being healthy and it's just amazing so I also want to run out because our elf on the shelf told me that he wanted to bring the boys pajamas tonight and our elf has a, a few traditions every year. We do, he brings the little dubbies Christmas trees. He brings the boys pajamas. Sometimes he'll bring them books. So we had some pajamas for Silas that um, our elf slash me bought last year on clearance. But I remember that I couldn't find the right size for miles. So I did Target pickup. And I do like Target because the sizing is better for Miles. Like he's very lean, but needs the length. He's not tall for his age by any stretch of the imagination, but he's just got this little narrow waist thanks to his dad. And so the sizes at Target come in medium eight to 10, which fits him really well. And I just thought this like Midnight Howlers was super cute. It has like different animals and including like a wolf slash husky, for our dogs so those are all set for the elf on the shelf to hide those tonight um i'm gonna drink my drink maybe listen to a podcast i have a new audiobook i'll link it down below um it's called the paper palace and i always like reserve these books on the library or i'll see that somebody suggested it on instagram i follow a lot of bookstagram people and so I'll put it in my Audible and then I'm like, why? I don't even know what this book is about. Why did I want to read it? But this one is particularly good about a woman who has to decide what to do after um, having a little fun with her best friend who is not her husband. Not that that is anything I have experienced, but which I'm glad for, obviously. Okay, this is a little weird. I'm just going to drink my drink and go home. You know, because I'm making it awkward. It is just like mid-afternoon, three o'clock. I have like 20 minutes until I get the boys off the bus. And I think I'm mostly just thirsty, but I am feeling like just like a little snacky. I mostly feel like my brain isn't working. And when I, like I just need it like a mental break. So... We are doing our Christmas party at work tomorrow, so I have like a bunch of gifts all wrapped up. I don't know about you, like it's always iffy, like do you buy for coworkers? Do you not buy for coworkers? How much money do you spend? Do you spend this if they don't buy you anything? And I just like to give gifts. I like finding like weird things to give people. And the one thing I always, always give is coffee because, duh. And so I love these little like one pot pouches from Door County and they come, you can buy like a holiday sampler box. And I like to buy the sampler box just for me, but then I can just put it with like a candle or like some cute socks or whatever. Um, let me see if I can dig one out here. So this is mistletoe mocha. It's super good. Um, that was for Tony. But I'm going to kind of like look for a snack and I don't really know what I want because I went to the store, but I'm just like, do you ever go to the store and just like not like anything you bought? Because that's what happened to me. What I decided to do was brew some decaf because I mean more coffee and I have been really good on my water. So I'm going to have some decaf and then I looked in the fridge and I... My past self was thinking about my today self and I would like to thank my past self for being so kind and thoughtful because I have my lemon poppy seed muffins. I made these in like a breakfast meal prep video and I had taken a bag out of the freezer, put it into the fridge. So I'm just gonna microwave this little, little guy. 
and enjoy him for a snack because I feel like that'll be just enough until it's time to make dinner. And I'm super excited about tonight's dinner because we are gonna have citrus roasted salmon. It just sounds so fancy and healthy. Aren't you impressed with me? Actually, if I think I've mentioned it before, if you do not subscribe to the Fed and Fit newsletter, you should do it because she has like the best meal ideas. Yesterday, I made this caprese chicken pasta bake that both Mark and I loved. Now Silas said it did not taste good and insisted that there was too much pepper in the pasta, except that I put absolutely no pepper in the pasta. Um, but that is my life. So I'm gonna wait for this coffee to brew, enjoy my muffin, and then go pick up my kiddos from school. against the cabinet so it stays closed. So we are making citrus roasted salmon for dinner. It is going to be so delicious. Yep. Do you think it'll be delicious? Uh, kind of. Kind of? Why just kind of? Uh, because mixing the um, uh, spaghetti with the salmon. You're going to mix spaghetti with the salmon? Yep. What do you uh, think Denali's going to do? Yeti, which is in the background. Okay, so that's enough of that. Um, I have my salmon here. I'm going to salt it. Ooh. Ooh, salt. And then we're going to add some garlic. This is a super, let's get a spoon because we're just going to. I love salt. You love salt? Yeah. Why do you love salt? Because I like it on my grilled cheese and hamburger. Oh, what about your salmon? So I am putting the salmon on a foil line sheet that I've sprayed with non-stick cooking spray to make cleaning up so easy. And the recipe called for, this is like a lot of citrus, but we're just going to roll with it. A blood orange, if you could find it, I could not find it. And I actually went into the grocery store this uh, week. You got lemons too. I know, we got lemons and oranges. This is going to be full sour. It's not going to be sour because the oranges are sweet. Okay, so this is going in a 375 degree oven for like 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm just making like a rice aroni pasta dish on the side. Yay, I love rice aroni. You do? This is the shells and white cheddar. Um, this does not make like, this is not a family size portion. So this will be enough for the kids at Mark. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do. But when do I ever? So while the salmon and the pasta roni is cooking, I am going to whip up my, what I count is zero point spicy ranch dip. This is super delicious, only to me. I don't think, I never tried it. Yeah, do you think you would like it? No. So we're starting with. Is it like vanilla? 
ice cream? It is not like vanilla <laughs> ice cream. So we're starting off with three quarters of a cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. So this is zero points for me on the WW. Making lots of noise, I really apologize. That is zero points for me on the WW plan. What now, is WW? It's Weight Watchers. Oh. So this is where the only points come in and this is a quarter cup of light mayonnaise. Now, the reason I count this as zero is because the amount of calories points that you distribute like per serving is so minimal that, you know, I think you can give yourself that. So quarter cup of mayonnaise. And then next we're going in with about a teaspoon of Frank's Red Hot. Now this is like all to taste. So like if you like really spicy food, like go ahead. And I will probably add more. And then a tablespoon of lime juice, kind of just winging that. You definitely want the lime juice. I've also made this with lemon juice. It's delicious. I have this garlic left over. I'm just gonna throw that in there because everything tastes better with garlic. And then just a packet of ranch dressing mix. And this, having this in the fridge so encourages me to like, eat vegetables. I got a vegetable tray at the grocery this week. So that will be perfect for like snacking while I'm cooking dinner, eating lunch, whatever. So I'm going to give this a good mix, give it a taste test, and then see if I need to add more hot sauce. So let's give this a little taste. Oh, so good, but definitely needs more hot sauce. So I'm just throwing in another teaspoon. And this is because I like spicy food. So I might actually eat some of this with dinner. So let's try it now. There we go. Now I double dip with a spoon, but I'm literally the only person who eats it. So there we go. Oh man, I'm a hot mess. So I am currently at 20 points for the day, including this dinner. Salmon zero, I have some vegetables, like a bed of greens, I garnished with some parsley. And then I just have about half a cup of pasta, with a just tiny bit of the cheese sauce. So I'm super excited. Now that does leave me with five points remaining for the day because I earned an extra point for this bed of greens, I earned a point for the vegetables I snacked on while I was cooking because the salmon did take a little bit longer to cook than we anticipated and getting my water in. So according to the personal points, I get 25 points and I have five left, which I've already said, and math is not my favorite, so there. You're on camera. Hey, trying to put together um, furniture. Let's just say I'm not a professional furniture maker, okay? Is there a reason I'm not helping you? Uh, there'd be too many swear words being thrown around with children. That's why. <laughs> you better cut that out. Woo, dessert time. I was sitting on the couch like doing some work and I was like, I'm hungry. So gonna we'll just whip myself up a little something with my extra points, so like my five points. I am starting with this fiber one, 70 calorie brownie, two points. Or it used to be, I have not double checked on the first How come points. is that two points and I have no idea? <laughs> I don't know either, I don't understand. So we're doing like a version of a dirt pudding if I actually had like real gummy bears. The kids have a ton of like sour stuff, but so just a little half of that. And then the Jello sugar-free pudding. And this is two points and then it's not, it's not gonna be pretty. So there we go, other brownie. And again, like when I was thinking about like how I can be successful on personal points, like I needed to think about what I did right, like, and like the spring of last year when I felt super successful. And I loved those little jello puddings. And we'll just throw a little fat free ready whip. And I'm gonna, um, yeah, just so pretty. 
um, eat this while Mark continues to nail things to his storage organizer. I am ending the day by taking my supplements. I take vitamin D, iron, and then just a uh, prescription med. So I'm going to take those, kind of wrap up like the night really got away from us. Mark was working on the cube organizer and then organizing like his camera gear. And um, I'm crocheting these boho pot, not pot holders, boho like crowd, what are they called? Coasters, coasters, like things you put your drink on, boho coasters. I don't know what I'm doing with them, but it's like I can crochet one a night and it's like just enough to keep me occupied. So um, I'm into that and then we're gonna go to sleep. Oh shoot, that's stinking oh. Okay, so we gotta do that. Miles is still awake, so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this What I Eat in a Day on the WW Personal Points Plan. I am so grateful for each and every one of you who watch these videos and stay to the end. And if you stay to the end, I would love it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, do something you love.